and welcome to the series on properties of quadrilaterals. I'm Amashni and we're going to have lots of fun discovering shapes, exploring what they are and where you'll find them in the world around us. Everywhere you look in this world, it's just shapes, shapes and more shapes. Take a look at these beautiful baskets. What shapes do you see? Do you know what we call all these shapes? We call them polygons. Have you heard this word before? Define a polygon, identify the sides, angles and vertices of a polygon. We come down to the local spot to see if we can find different shapes of polygons. Now Haley and Wesley here have got three minutes to do a supermarket sweep and find all the different shapes that they can. Ready you guys? Get set. Go! This is a rectangle. In fact, I found loads of these. I found lots of circles, and I found this one. Well, look at this one. This one's got six sides. That makes it a hexagon, right? Right, Wesley. A hexagon is a six-sided figure. Well, smarty pants, how about this? It's an eight-sided figure. Is it a pentagon? You were very clever to find this shape, but don't get your names mixed up. An eight-sided figure is an octagon. Oh, yeah. Like an octopus, an eight-legged animal. I found this, but I'm not quite sure what shape it is. Well, Wesley, this shape is a trapezium. Well done, you guys. There are loads of shapes everywhere. Yeah, can we have another go? That is great fun. No, guys, not at the supermarket, but let's see if we can spot some on the way back to the studio. Well, you'll have to see what you can spot on the way home from school today. So now, let's get going on some definitions so we know what we're talking about. Now, in Greek, poly means many and gonia means angle. This should help you to guess at what a polygon might be. A polygon is a two-dimensional closed shape or figure. The sides of the shape are line segments. Let's take a more careful look at some more shapes and decide whether they are polygons by this definition. Remember, from our definition, we can say that any shape that is not closed cannot be a polygon. Well, that must mean that this, this, and this must go. 
So what else do we know from our definition? Any shape that is not made from line segments can't be a polygon. Remember that a line segment is part of a straight line between two points. So any shape which has curved lines cannot be a polygon. So let's look at the shapes again. Do you see that this has a curved line? This one as well. This means that these two shapes have to go. These are not polygons. So, are these shapes definitely polygons? They are closed and they are made up of many line segments. So yes, definitely these are polygons. But have a look at this shape. This one is not a polygon, yet it seems to fit the definition. It is closed and made from line segments. In order to make sure that this definition excludes this type of shape, we must add to the definition. The line segments in a polygon must join end to end and only intersect with two other line segments. Look carefully. Line segment AC intersects with line segment AD here. AC intersects with BC here. And you can see that AC is cut by BD here. This means that this is not polygon. Okay, we need some more terms before we can discover more about polygons. Each of these line segments is called a side, and where the endpoints of the sides meet is called a vertex. Now, did you know that the plural of vertex is vertices? So these points are called vertices. Now, where the line segments meet creates an angle at the vertex. A polygon is named by the number of sides or angles that it has. Let me give you a quick test. How many sides in a triangle? Three, of course. Quadrilateral. Did you say four? Correct. Pentagon? Five. Have a look at these. identify different polygons. Let's find out how to label them. Well, in order to label a polygon, you must list the vertices in order around the shape. Have a look at this polygon. It is a pentagon. I choose to label this vertex as A. Now remember, you can choose any letters, P, Q, X, K, anything. I chose A. Now once you've started, you've got a label in order. So I'm going to call this B. There's C, D, and E. Right, look at the labeled polygon. I can name it A, B, C, D, E. Now, can I name it in any other way? What about D, C, B, A, E? Let's have a look. D, C, B, A, E. Yes, that also works. You are still using a label that names vertices in order. Now in this polygon, we can also call A and B consecutive vertices. So are B and C, as well as D and E. Now can you label the polygon B, C, A, E, D? B, C, A, E, D. Let's have a look. We've got B, C, a, E, D. Now, this does not work as C and A are not consecutive vertices. In this lesson, we introduced you to polygons. We defined a polygon and its angles, its vertices and its sides. We named some polygons according to how many sides they have. Lastly, we looked carefully at how you name a pentagon. Draw a seven-sided polygon and label it FGHIJKL. On your diagram, show clearly an example of an angle, a vertex 
and decide. Until then, Salani Kashlev.